Haha! Hello, my fair citizens. My name is Strider Stone. I'm the mayor of Sodium City, and today we are punishing people with. No, no. Nine lives. Let me show you what the deck does. Really? Cat, cat, cat stuff? That's what we're doing now? So for this deck, I will preface it in saying that a lot of people don't like this because it's somewhat boring-ish of a win condition. It's one giant explosive win, but it's nothing... Like, there's no cool animations or anything spectacular about it, all right? So, step one. You have nine lives. You're going to put it on the battlefield. The very bottom line of nine lives is all we care about. When nine lives leaves the battlefield, you lose the game, okay? And then we're running Harmless Offering. Aw, adorable kitty. Target opponent gains control of target permanent you control. So we're going to target the opponent and give them nine lives. Right? And then we're going to use Devastating Mastery, which is expensive, but we're always usually just going to pay the four cost, which is an opponent chooses up to two non land permanent cards they control, then return the rest to their owner's hand, destroy all non land permanents. That means if they choose to return nine lives to our hand, they lose the game. If they choose to let Devastating Mastery destroy nine lives, they lose the game. This is really awesome because we're just going to be like nine lives, harmless offering, devastating mastery. People are like, oh, it's a 10 mana combo, blah, blah, blah. And everyone just wants to bash on it. It's kind of whatever because it's not that difficult. You can survive with nine lives. You can just play nine lives and then play harmless offering and then play devastating mastery. You can get this relatively quickly, right? And we have a ton of card draw. We have some life gain. We have a lot of stuff that we can do. And there's just a copious amount of renewal. So it's very difficult for people to actually beat this deck. And like I said, it's a very explosive deck. It comes out of nowhere a lot of the times, but a lot of people don't like it because it's not like spectacular. But let me know in the comment section below if you like these types of decks or if you want to see stuff that is, I don't know, different? I don't know. Just let me know. Now, in the end, I would definitely recommend building this deck. It performs very well. It's super consistent. It takes people off guard. Your only real counter is going to be a control deck and whatever deck really just runs farewell or mass enchantment removal. No decks run that anyway. But if you did want to build this deck, it is going to set you back 42 rares and three mythics. So it's not cheap by any means, especially for a two color deck. But it is, like I said, very, very good. So if you do want the deck list, you can click on that card that pops out at the top right hand corner of this video. It'll take you over to my Aether Hub page. Or if you want the text based version, that'll be in the description below. Or you can get the link in the pinned comment. If you want to get your name immortalized in these videos like these amazing people over here, then go ahead and click that join button for more details or head on over to twitch.tv slash striderstone to subscribe. But the best thing you can do for the channel is to share this video with somebody who you think would enjoy them. And of course, do all the YouTube stuff down below, like, comment, subscribe, stay salty, and enjoy the games. There's no reason to have it. Idyllic Tutor, I think I had two of them in here, but I believe I took... I ended up taking two of them out. Uh, because we needed some cheaper cards. So I think I put in Reprieve instead. Yeah, we need green for Guy's Blessing. True. Another one of those. 
We're good on that. What's up, Essex? How you doing? Sure, I'll take another one of those. Gain some more life. Definitely need more lands. Got it. <sighs> Hate slivers, yeah. There we go. One, two, three, four, eight, nine. I need one untapped land. One untapped land. I know they actually had basics of each color. Boy, bye. Not with those shoes on. He ratchet.
honestly don't like that land destruction deck. I've tried it, and it just wasn't that efficient most of the time. Because the majority of those times, you're going up against aggro decks, right? If you're going up against an aggro deck, it just doesn't work very well. Like, unless you're going up against, like, a mid-range deck or um, another control deck or something, then it can work. But, like, this deck right here will lose to basically every control deck with a counterspell, right? Why would they not use Snowlands with Search for Glory? Exactly sure on that one. Portable hole. Proliferate the one ring and then donate to them for a one turn kill. Yeah. You can look at my land. Yep. You can in fact look at my look at my land. It's a pretty cool sundown pass. Throw back Wrath and Settle. Get a bunch of shit we don't want. No land. We don't want to show them harmless offerings. We don't want to show them what we're doing. Right?
And we got one more reprieve if they try to do something crazy. All right. Not even close. Not even close. Only 21 wins till mythic. This one's going to be hard. Yep. Good thing we put in that doom scar. I might just play that nine lives. Maybe. With all their burn spells and shit. It'll help keep us alive. Bare minimum. Okay, two. And yeah, that's three. It's going to be four. Five. I can win in two turns. Unless they got a counter spell. Nope. What up, Dig Dog? Big cheers. The biggest of cheers. Started in Arabian. Missed beta by a week or so. Ah. Cheers, everybody. Just just in in mortem. Question is, do I tutor or do I one ring? I don't know. Well, let's throw down the mind stone and tutor. And then we can one ring and start going for our stuff. Yeah. 
I guess I could have drawn there and looked for something. Like a mine stone if there was another random mine stone. Pretty good card. It's a pretty good card to get. It's also a really good card to get. They can still have it. They can still have it. I don't know if they would run farewell, but they could. Wrath of God's nice. Let's go ahead and do that. So I don't think they can give it haste. Let's just hope they're not playing farewell in their deck. Is really all it is. Infinite, yeah. Unless they can give everything haste, I'm not worried about it, right? You got it.
All right, cool. You didn't get into tournament play for Magic until Ice Age. You didn't really become competitive until Tempest, then you used Pokemon tournament. Damn. Yeah, I think I started playing in like 97. And 90s, I don't even remember. And then, I don't know. I didn't really get into super competitive tournaments. I did a lot of pre-releases. I was more of a pre-release person than a Friday Night Magic person. I'm an arena zoomer? Not really. I like... I played on and off since like 97, but I think I played more off than I did on. Like I came back when Arena was in open beta and then I, but before that I quit like right around the Jace the Mind Sculptor area cause that just, that card pissed me off so much. Yeah, it was just like, it was unbanned for so long. I'm actually going to do this. I'm going to look for a land. Should have kept up the reprieves. Discard of nine lives. I think they scooped to this next Wrath of God. Maybe not.
two, three. Going really low here. I still have enough for a settle just in case. No, you can't kill your own ring. The ring is indestructible. You have to exile it. Well, I could have replaced the ring, but yeah. All right, we'll do a quick play till we lose. What's up, sicker? How am I destroying souls today? Um, We're doing it through nine lives and giving it to them. Although, I don't know if we're going to be able to do that against a poison deck. Yeah. So, kind of screwed. We gotta hope they don't kill us. Wait, they didn't have anything for that rot priest. That's good for us. They didn't get any basics? Seems odd. Seems very odd. Yeah, Golgari Poisson. Poisson. Stating Mastery? No. 
Okay. We have a reprieve in case they try to do something crazy. So right now we're just replacing our mind stones. Just fine. No. There it is. Nice poison. They must have had all of like the the pump spells for their for their rot priest. Uh or the maybe they did just have a bunch of lands. And they were just waiting for that one card. Yeah, it was toxic as Let's see, what can we do here? I mean, this is an easy keep, right? I'm thinking about taking out the reprieves, but they seem to be okay. All right, it's gonna be a little scary. Wow. All right, I can't do anything about this. Plus 10 plus, yeah, I mean, I'm dead. No, I mean, I have nine lives. They cast a spell, I have to reprieve it. This is my only way to live. A man's gotta do what a man's gotta do, brother. And then next turn, I do have Wrath of God but I might just throw down Cosmos Elixir. Because they don't go wide. So unless they can destroy that for two mana, which I don't know if they can do in white-red, I think they're going to need a couple more. They're... All right, that's good for us. I didn't see Faithless Looting coming though, I must say. I don't think that was a card I expected. I don't know if that was the card I expected, although now I just don't know Yeah, let's just do some scrying. Let's get some land out. Because then we can... Yeah, because then we can Valakut Awakening. Doesn't super help us. But it might a little bit. They could have removal for that, which would be kind of sad, but. That is kind of sad.
Well. I need one more land. Untapped land off top. Come on, baby. Come on. Come on. I need a follower or a sub for this untapped land right here for the win. This is going to get me the win. Come on, YouTube sub. This is it. It was not it. That was not it. But whatever, we thinned out our deck. We thinned out our deck. Untap land. Come on. Come on. Give me the power. I need the power. Chat, give me the power. Give me power. Thank you, chat. Haha! -ha. Dig Dug 29 months. Let's go, baby. Let's go, baby. And Jupiter coming through. Why'd you cast it again? Won't you have to offer it twice? Nope. My losing the game happens after them losing the game. But since they lose the game first, I don't actually lose the game. God, that was so cringy. I hate the fact that I had to do that to myself. The only reason I did that is... I may or may not be inebriated. I blame you, YouTube. I blame... This is your doing. This is 100% your fault. <laughs> now pay for it. <laughs> so, we have a lot of really cool things in this deck. I don't even know why I said that. But let me know in the comment section below if you like these kinds of decks. But let me know in the... Blah, 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 blah. Thank you all so much for watching. If you made it to this point, it means you either really enjoyed the video or you fell asleep and I'm waking you up now. <laughs> either way, thank you for all the support. I really do appreciate it. If you want to see more videos like this, hit that subscribe button, hit the bell notification, come out with videos seven days a week.